In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new cookie consent banner in websites and funnels. Why would you want to do that? Well, number one, you want to make sure that you comply with all the regulations and requirements out there. When it comes to the online world, there are regulations like GDPR or CCPA, which basically states the rules of how the user data online should be handled. It's basically your way of giving thumbs up and saying, hey, we are following the rules. Second, it also enhances the user experience. Users like to have the choice. It's like if you go into a restaurant and the waiter is asking you, do you want sparkling water or tap water? It just gives the user some sort of like power and decision making what is going to happen with their data. And number three, you avoid costly penalties. Not complying with GDPR or CCPA, that can result in costly penalties. And by just simply having that banner up, it just states, hey, I'm a good online citizen. So let me show you how you can set this up. All right, first hover over to sites and then select either funnels or websites. In this case, we're going to go for websites, open up the page. And at the top, you can see our little new icon, which looks like a cookie called cookie consent. Give it a click and you see the cookie consent bar popping up on the right. We want to enable the consent banner and you have to agree to this, which basically means the banner will prevent loading of marketing, performance and analytics cookies prior to the visitor's acceptance of cookies. Some external elements and essential cookies may still load. And if any of the following, which that is third party widgets or custom codes are present in funnels or websites. It's your responsibility to get consent from users or remove those elements from funnels or websites. We agree to this and hit agree. Now you can see the beautiful banner showing up right here. Quick side note, if you are using on this website or in this funnel, Facebook Pixels, Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, you have to refer to this link, which basically provides you with codes for each scenario. This is the code for Facebook Pixels this for Google Analytics and this for Google Tag Manager, which you have to install in order to whitelist those data. So let's say we're running Facebook ads. We're just going to copy this code, go back to your cookie banner at the very bottom. You can see advanced settings. And that's where you would add the code. Okay. So that's now our Facebook code hit enter and that's it. So you will also have to mention those codes that you're running Facebook ads. You will have to mention this in your policy. Down here, you just want to place the link to your policy, which in our case is this one. And here you want to mention, hey, we're using Facebook ads, we're using Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and so on. Just copy your link and place it right here. Remove HTTPS, that's it. If you're not sure what needs to be included in your privacy policy, you just click here and we will give you a ton of recommendations what should be included. Now back to general settings. By default, the ask to opt out option is enabled. If you don't want to ask, you just click here and you see the difference down here. Now we have just OK. If we go back to ask to opt in, we can see accept all or accept essential cookies. In the next field, you can edit the message description, which is just simply this one right here. You can change the policy link text. And also under styling options, you can change colors, fonts, font size, and so on in order to make it match your brand. For now, we just want to leave it as is, hit publish. And now we have a beautiful banner popping up on our website. Amazing. I would encourage you to take those 30 seconds of your life and implement that cookie banner right now. I will see you in the next video.